Hey everybody, this is Hunter. Hope you're having a awesome day. Today I've got something that I think will make your day even better. It is my personal favorite floor plan for a couples coach. It is the 2021 388 RK by Cedar Creek. Uh, and this thing is awesome. Weighs about 13,000 pounds dry. So it's, uh, you know, it's big, it's bad. It's got really everything that you would want. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna jump right on into the inside today. And then we'll take you around a couple minutes on the outside at the end. Uh, if you dig RV videos, make sure to like and subscribe for me. And more importantly, if you guys think of anything that I can do to enhance my videos, get better at it, do anything a little differently, added info, make sure to comment with what I can do how to make things better for you. The goal is to make a little moolah off this, and the only way to do that is to get a little better. The first thing is we walk in, you're going to see tons of room, sleeping space for the couch, recliners right here, beautiful rear kitchen in the back. This reminds me a little bit of a video I did on the Riverstone Reserve, the 3850 RK, which I'll put down in the comments if you want to see a camper that's real similar at this, but priced out probably about a good 15, 20 grand more. Uh, yeah, definitely is a video to check out for you. But let's start off right here in this living room. First thing you're going to notice Big old TV, watch some movies, enjoy your kind of your rainy days or some of your downtime here. Speaker here, speaker there, DVD system, something that you can play, music inside, outside with the click of the button. Really nice and convenient. And you have a beautiful fireplace right here, electric fireplace. You don't have to use the propane at the campground. And I'll tell you what, that thing gets roasted and gives you some awesome power uh, for sure. So right here to the left of your fireplace, and by the way, that TV does go on the swivel if you're just laying down right here. Uh, but what I like so much about these floor plans is the versatility. You know, right here, you can go ahead and pull this couch out. Actually, here, let me show you real quick. So I just pulled this out here real quick just to kind of show you. I didn't set it up nice and pretty or anything like that. But as you can see, uh, what is that? It's a, probably about a full-size uh, sleeper you can definitely fit two people on there comfortably i just think it's um you know it's nice for campers to have this and the ease of pulling this in and out you can easily do this one-handed i did it with my recording device while i opened it i mean it's really nice so let me put this back in and we'll show you some more so there we're wrapped back in so you have some really good sleeping space there next to your fire your big tv your nice speakers you come over here, you got two extremely comfortable uh, recliners, you know, kind of that love seat scenario. And what I do like about this, they put the little added touch of a USB port. And this right here is how you control it, you know, in and out. And what I like about them is that they, they're the kind that will go down pretty much all the way. So that way, if you're watching some football or, you know, something like that, you can really sleep in them. So, I mean, just right there, I mean, check that out. They get low, they get comfortable. If you don't want to pull out the couch, uh, you know, you're good there just to kind of snooze. Your cup holders, good view of everything that you need. And then over to the right, you have this desk. And this desk provides you with all the working space you need. Nice view from your, you know, wherever you're out on the campground. They have day and night shade, so if you need to... Uh, just get a little bit of shade or completely dark it out and get your Dracula going on. You can definitely do that. But it also has that little, some outlets right down in there and a place to run your wires so you're nice and organized. You know, if you're a traveling nurse and you want a nicer place to stay, you know, this might be the, might be the ticket. And as you can see, plenty of storage, just like a desk that you would have at home. Yeah, real slick, real slick. Nice, tall slide outs there. See, I'm six feet tall and, uh, you know, I've got no issues. You probably, they're probably about six feet, six inches, I would guess. So underneath the bed up in the bedroom, which by the way, the bedroom's got one of the best bathrooms I've seen in a camper. I think you're going to love it if you stick around them long enough. But right here you have your desk. You can pull out cards. You can pull the leaflet out. But underneath that bed, like I was saying, there are two more chairs to add to that. USB ports here, regular outlets there, nice light fixtures that are good looking, residential feel to it. 
And other than the bathroom, the shining star of the camper, this rear kitchen. I mean, it is beautiful. It is tall. It's got nice little, uh, whatever those things are. It's got nice ones of those. But so check this out here. Stainless steel, double bowl sink, plenty of room to do dishes, plenty of places to put all your stuff Ola. Big, big underneath there. You can put a trash can, something like that. The Insignia oven, which if you're not familiar with campers, uh, I will just tell you not, <laughs> not most of your campers are going to have a 3.7 cubic foot freestanding uh, gas range, all that kind of good stuff. Four burners up top. The Insignia is absolutely killing the game. I'm not going to open up the microwave today, but as you can see, this is a big boy Insignia. We got it kind of in that travel mode. We have not yet. I fully prepped this camper, and I don't want to get in the guys get in the way of my guys in service. But good storage all the way around. Some more over here. Places up top to put whatever you need. Four of these pull-out trays. I don't need to show you all those. But then right in here awesome little pantry and this camera this camper comes with the four camera system it is the furion s vision comes with this right here uh, seven inch monitor you have one in front of the door one to the left and right of the front of the camper and then one on the back which i'll show you on the exterior if you guys stick around Your big boy LG refrigerator. Let me open this up and I'll show you the inside. So as you can see, this camper is definitely gonna suit your needs for a long trip or full-time living. I don't know what kind of refrigerator you have in your house, but mine is nothing near like this. This thing is big, it's bad, it's fancy. It's got the styrofoam here. We still haven't unpacked it yet. So it's just a nice, nice fridge. Another one of those residential touches where if you're doing some residential camping, you know, it'll definitely, definitely help you out there. So let's take you upstairs. Well, actually first, let's show you this here. Good old bath and a half model. A porcelain throne, a good old mirror. A smaller sink, but let's be honest, for your guests to wash their hands, that will be plenty. A place to put a washer and dryer that is not up front next to your bedroom. That's always nice. Or you can use it for some good old hanging storage. I mean, check that out. Just a ton of storage in this camper. And for the money you're spending, you know, you deserve it. A little peek of the bedroom here. But I do want to show you the system. Uh, with just a couple clicks of the button, you know, you can really just isolate whatever, wherever you want. Kitchen ceiling lights, you can turn those off. If you want to turn off the entire camper, you know, check that out. That was one click of a button. Kitchen ceiling you can turn off. Kitchen island. So just all right here, one central place. You don't have to worry about those, uh, you know, those pesky, pesky light switches. Pick out where you want awning hydraulic slides, your HVAC system, all of this can be controlled right here. You have your solar charge controller, which is nice. Uh, put some solar panels up. It'll help trickle charge that battery, keep you juiced up, uh, you know, throughout the, throughout the day and throughout the night. Sliding doors here. Well, it's, it's latched in, but they're sliding. You can trust me. Uh, USB ports on either side, as well as outlets on either side. Under bed storage, which I told you about those chairs earlier. That's where those are. Your cadet space heater. So just like that fireplace, it's in the living room. You have another source of electric heat, which will only save you money and make things more convenient. Not burning your propane, so you'll be good there. And this thing, let me tell you, it gets hot. I actually had to turn it off while I was doing this video. It's about... 
25 degrees out and I thought I was going to turn it on and you know I, I ended up actually uh, turning it back off six of those bad boys and my favorite part about this camper because so many RV bathrooms just stink nice uh, nice throne check that out I just think it's good looking it's nice having two of the knobs, kind of a his and her feel with the joint, uh, well, a bowl, I guess you'd call it. But look at this shower, good size. Anyone that's had campers, and I'm sure you've had one before if you're looking at these, this is just a nice, large shower, and it looks good. Four of these here, four of these there. Good storage underneath. You can turn on your accent lights, your ceiling lights. You got some plug-ins. But then check out this closet also. You have your King Wi-Fi extender, which is always nice. Hanging closet on either side. And this thing actually shocked me when I saw the size of all this stuff. There is just a ton of storage on this camper. So now I'm going to head around the outside, and this is where a lot of people drop off. So before you do, make sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment. If there's anything I can do to make these better for you, I appreciate you guys watching so much. You have no idea. Really close to hitting my goal, and it took me seven months of hard work to get here. So definitely help me out. So right from the rip, I'm just going to show you. There's one of the four camera systems I was telling you about right above that light. Big old awning, LED lights pass-through storage up front and they even took the extra mile uh, you got your road back in there but I don't know if it's gonna come up on the camera it sure does not but that's your control panel and they lay out the schematics of everything there so that way if you ever have to get this thing serviced um, you know it just really helps out and keeps those wait times down guys I mean that, that's really important on campers exterior speakers gets the campground bumping that's where we'll put some propane when we're done prepping here is the other camera uh, for you. Big storage underneath. Get this bad boy gen prepped if you want. A rhino box. You can turn on LED strips that go out here. It's a little too close to the door, so I didn't turn them on today. One more camera. You have your electric leveling, your auto level with a click of a button, your level at the campground. And that is always nice. You have your easy reel, all of your connections for your water in one central place, along with um, you know some hydraulic controls, so that way you know you can turn off some uh, turn off some stuff if you need to in a quick. So this customer opted to put on uh, the slide toppers. If you do that here in house, you know after a camper maybe that's on the lot, you're looking at seven hundred dollars a piece. If you order it like these folks did from the manufacturer, you're probably looking at yeah, four fifty, five hundred bucks. You're saving some good money. Got your ladder that goes up, fully walkable roof, so you guys can hang up there if you want and do all your maintenance. Check the seals. I recommend twice a year. And that rounds it out for the Furion S Vision. Um, just a great system for when you're driving down the road. This thing is long, and you know you don't want to worry about what's behind you while you're switching lanes. And we all know when you're backing up next to that tree at the campground, it keeps those couples' arguments you know, on the low. But I think that's about it for this camper. Uh, if you like the rear kitchen feel, I did go. I'm going to go ahead and put in the comments uh, the Riverstone Reserve that I was talking about earlier that I did. So make sure to check that out if you want kind of a different flavor. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure to like and subscribe for me. Thanks, guys.